Hi, welcome to the explanation of a new problem. So the problem is minimum speed to arrive on time. So what? Let's see what the problem statement says. You are given a floating point number r. That is, we are given an r time, representing the amount of time you have to reach the office. Okay. To commute to the office, you must take n trains in sequential order. You are also given an integer array distance of length n. Where distance of i describe the distance of the ith train ride. So it, we have been given an integer array of distance in which every at every index distance traveled by a particular train is given to us. Each train can only depart in an integer r, so you may need to wait in between each train ride. Okay, so the train can depart from a station only when the time as is an integer. What does that mean? For example, if the first train ride one point five hours. You must wait for additional 0.5 hours so that you can depart at a two hour mark. So you can't depart at 1.5 hours. You have to wait for additional 0.5 hours so that you can depart at two hours. Okay. Return the minimum possible integer speed that all the train must travel for you to the reach to office on time. So we have to return the minimum speed. Okay. If it is possible or if it is not possible, then you have to return minus one. Tests are generated such that the answer will not exceed 10 raised to power 7, and R will have up to at most two digits after the decimal point. Okay. So now let's see with the help of an example. Input is given to us the distance distance array is one, three, and two. Okay, and the R total time in which we have to reach the office is six. Okay. So uh, first thing to notice here is the minimum, the basic value of speed that we can travel is one. Because the speed should be an integer, as written, written the minimum positive integer. Okay? So the speed should be an integer, and we have to reach an integer speed to the office. So the minimum speed can be one. So at speed one, for this particular case, if we travel at speed one, then the this first train will cover one kilometer as given, and the time will take time taken will be at speed one will be one hour. For distance three, the time taken will be three. Three hours, and for the distance two kilometers, the time taken to cover two kilometers by a train at a speed of one kilometer per hour will be two hours. So in total, the time will be six hours. And if we travel at one kilometer per hour speed, then we will be able to reach our office in six hours. So the minimum speed in this case will be one. Now let's see how we come up to this. So the array, the, so the array, I will name it as distance only. So the distance array is given to us as one, three, and two, and the total time in which we have to reach the office is six hours. Okay. So the minimum speed we have understood that can be one, and it may range up to ten days to power seven as given in the question. So this is the range in which we have to find the minimum speed for the particular test case. Okay, got it. Now, now let's see for. Speed one, as we have understood, we will reach in one hour for one kilometer. For three hour, three hours will be taken for three kilometers, and two hours will be taken for two kilometers if we travel at the speed of one kilometer per hour. This is clear to us. So the total time taken here will be six hours, and the time that we have been given is six. So we will reach it in time, and the minimum speed will be one here. So the basic thing is, we have to find a time. Which will be less than or equal to this r, in which we can reach our office. Okay, so let think. Let me consider a value in between this, any random value. I say let it be the ith value. Ith value will be the ith speed. Okay, so if we can reach the office in ith speed, then we can reach the office in the speed greater than ith. And if we cannot reach the station. With ith speed, then speed less than i will not matter to us, because if we are not able to let's say reach the station with the speed of five kilometer per hour, then it is impossible to reach the speed at four kilometer per hour or three kilometer per hour. That is basically less than five kilometer per hour. But we, if we travel with the speed greater than five, then we'll be able to reach, if possible, in reaching the station at with the speed of five kilometer per hour, then we can reach to greater. so basically we have to find the value before which we will not be able to reach and after that we will able to reach the station so here comes the idea of binary search binary search basically find the mid value 
we will find the mid value and check if in mid value and we will pass it to a function by giving mid and we will check mid will be the speed so we will calculate distance equal speed upon time so we will know that time will be distance upon speed so using this speed where speed will s will be mid so using this mid we will find the time and if we will able to reach within that time that is this time is less than or equal to r then this function will return true otherwise this function will return false as we will not able to reach with that speed in less than uh, this particular r time that is given to us so let's dry run this with the, this only example and let's change this 10 raised to power 7 to 10 so it will be easy for us to understand here 10 okay cool okay so firstly we find the mid value mid will be 5 in this case so if we travel with the speed of 5 then let's see what happens we will find the time distance is 1 speed is 5 for this particular t1 let's say t2 will be 3 by 5 and t3 will be 2 by 5 so this means some point value it will come out 0.2 but if, as we know, if you travel at a speed of 5 km per hour and the distance we have to cover is 1, so we will reach it in 0.2 hours. But we know that we cannot travel in a floating value. We have to find an integer value so that we can travel to the next station. So we have to wait till 1 hour such that we can pick up this train because we cannot pick any train with a decimal value in decimal value hours. So in this case also, it will be a decimal value. We have to wait for one hour. In this case, we have to wait for a decimal. It will come out to a decimal value and we have to wait for a one hour. So in total, with a speed of five kilometer per hour, it will take three hours to reach. Three hours to reach, three hours will be less than this hour, this hour time, which is given to us. This condition means true. So now our problem reduced from one to 10 to one to Five. Now we have to find a minimum value in 1 to 5, not 1 to 10. As if we can travel at a speed of 5 km per hour, then always we can travel with the speed greater than that. But we have to find the minimum value. So we will check in the left side. Okay, 1 to 5. Now calculate the mid value. It will come out to 3. Now you will check for the speed 3 and calculate the same distance if we will be able to travel or not. In this way, similarly, we will calculate the mid always and check if after calculating the mid speed we can reach the time that we will calculate the time and we can reach that particular in less than this time then we will uh, this is let's say this is left and this is right so in that case if this condition holds true then the mid value will be the left value will stay as right and the right value will be mid minus one we will come to this half portion that we have done here, one minus one to five. So this is the basic idea of binary approach we are going to follow in this question. The basic thing you need to check only two things. You have to calculate the time, uh, that is distance upon speed, and keep in mind that we have we can travel only and only when this is an integer. Okay, so these two things you have to keep in mind and apply binary search and then you will be able to solve this problem. If you have any doubts, mention in the comment section and we'll see in the next video. Thank you.